So what's going on in 2014 at CES? We're here to find out what brands are doing in media, content, and technology. A lot of what's here is connecting the dots that we saw first emerge last year. So last year we saw a real arrival of home appliances that are connected and connected homes. We saw the wearables first make their arrival, but they were so green, and smart watches as well. This year we're seeing some maturity in those, and more than that, we're seeing some degree of interoperation between them. The exciting thing about the sensor economy is that we're seeing sensors not only be put into uh, appliances within the home or electronics within the home, but we're also seeing sensors being put into everyday objects. What we do know is that within the connected home, security systems, refrigerators, your everyday appliances will have sensors in them. Sensors today are becoming more prevalent and more pervasive because the sensors themselves to be, that are put on these objects are cheaper for manufacturers to actually install. Another reason is because a lot of these sensors are now capable of communicating with, let's say, mobile apps via Bluetooth LE, which can now give back data. We're moving beyond just actually hardware and devices and moving into spaces that are providing real value to consumers. One thing I've seen with wearable tech is the convergence between fashion and technology. This year we've actually seen a lot of fashion companies showing off merchandising here because people are really concerned about the way that their technology looks to their friends and family. There's a lot of different types of wearable technology. We've seen things from the June wearable that tells you how long you've been in the sun, the sleep number that's actually tracking how well you're sleeping, baby monitors that are actually telling you the quality of sleep that your child's getting. So in the wearable space, it's, it's grown much greater than just fitness and really branching out into anything that people would want to collect that on. The television is now the central entertainment hub. It's also the, you know, the command center for anything you're doing. You can watch anything from the web, you can talk to somebody, it's a gaming center. It's not just about a way to watch what's on television. The interface is now allowing the consumer to watch really any content from multiple sources. And we've heard about this TV everywhere thing for a long time. It's actually real now. I can pull out my iPhone or my iPad and actually watch what's on television anywhere in the world. Giving the customer the ability to take what's most important to them inside the car and be able to make their lives simpler and more convenient is really what Connected Vehicle is all about, simplifying their life and enhancing the experience while in their car. Mobility is changing, and you know, I'm talking about on the car side and on the device side, so it's the fusion. The three pillars of Connected Car Entertainment, navigation, safety, and security features in the vehicle. As the millennials grow up and buy cars, what do you think they're going to be looking at? They're probably going to be looking at a car that has connectivity, what kind of connectivity. All this is adding up to a fairly soon future of the car that is going to drive itself much of the time, and eventually all the time. The reason we all care is because that frees up the driver to have a little more incremental time for media in the car, a little more every year. This broad appeal for 3D printing for brands, and it's an interesting space to watch in the future, because you can see the desire to people for people to engage and co-create um, their own unique take on brands, if you want to think, remix the brand with their own likeness. Some of the applications we saw this year of 3D printing included application of printing food, doing customization of different types of products that you would not expect. Additionally, there was a miniaturization of the technology that can bring it down to the handheld. The robotic space is very interesting because it's the sort of core of all the other products that are at CES. It's the actual microchips and the artificial intelligence coming together in the form of a robot that does something for you, right? So you have the robot that cleans your grill, you have the robot that cleans your window, robots that are helping elderly care, helping with education. Artificial intelligence is going to sort of change the way we behave. All of these innovations are actually affecting the way consumers are using media. So this is a big opportunity for brands to access different touch points with consumers, whether it's in their home, in their car, at work. These new technologies are creating different exciting ways to personalize content, make content and experiences richer and more meaningful.